telepathy. Let's g g g get it. Oh, look at they all look so different here. Jimin with like brown hair. RM with this like little dreadlock type thing. Sugar just swagged out. I love it. Oh, Sugar and Jin with the same shades on. Sugar's got the tint though. Sick, sick, love it. All right, telepathy. Here we go. Oh. Groovy. Oh. This is sick. This song is all baseline. I love it. It's like, it's very kind of like throwback to like almost like 80s disco. Not quite. The beat's a little different, but it's like very bass guitar driven, very simple beat. I also liked the intro. It started like very kind of underwater and then it slowly sucks in and then we hit and we go. Sick. Just a fun song. Oh, and there's cowbell. I didn't even notice the cowbell. Left side. Oh, sick. Love me some cowbell. This is cool. Different style from Sugar. Oh, it's kind of shouty. I really like it. Oh, this is fun. Oh, beautifully sung part. Ah, oh, sick. Oh, that run. Dang. Oh, yeah, this hits so good. The same day, uh, whoa, 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 in the same day, every time I'm the happiest, happiest when I meet you. Is this a song about touring? Is this, a, that's what I get from this as an artist who like, plays shows at the same time on stage every day you're the happiest when you're in front of your fan base right is that what this is about i like it this song just moves so well how fun Oh, I love the way this is layered too. So like you have him coming in with just his like normal rapping voice and then in the top, very buried, he's yelling it up the octave. So it like adds a little more energy. I love that. Oh, this is fun. This kind of has like a Caribbean vibe to it. I know earlier they talked about like being on an island in the middle of the ocean or something. And it kind of just has like fun, fun kind of like Caribbean vibes to it. And that cowbell going, it hasn't stopped yet. It's still going. This is sick. Groovy song for army. Yeah, okay. I thought so. Even though I'm far away, our hearts are all the same. I think that's so cool. BTS pre preaches this message so much in their songs. Uh, like, my universe, for example, is all about, like, togetherness. And I think that's so cool. You know that line? Our hearts are the same. And I think it's so true. You know, like, we're all the same. We're all connected in one way or another. Um, no matter how far away we are, you know? Um, BTS is connected to me in our own way. You guys are connected to me and you guys are also connected to BTS and we formed this beautiful like little triangle and I think like so much what they talk about is that just like togetherness and like I don't know I love the positivity that they preach and everything. I think it's so awesome.
Even if I'm not by your side, we you all know we're together. Man, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that ad lib. Oh. Man, BTS does this first chorus. They'll like have it like pretty chill with vocally at least um, and they'll just like sing through the lines and then you get like a second chorus or a third chorus and the vocals don't stop it's ad lib harmony the main line like it's just one after another after another and I love it again about the production you know these songs are so well produced they're so well thought out and put together and they're like every time you hear this we're hearing this chorus now for I believe the third time right so we've already heard this we already know how it goes we know the lyrics but they're like let's give you something more you know we want to give you a little more so let's give you a nice little Jimin scream over here and then a beautiful Jungkook harmony over here and they just don't stop they just keep it going I really like it oh like that JK beautiful this tune This is so fun. This is the song when they performed it live uh, in LA. They were on the carts and they went around to see everybody, to go see ARMY, to go see all of their fans. I think this is so cool. I don't know of another artist who has made a, who has written a song about their fan base. You know, like everybody has a fan base. BTS, Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, you know, Blackpink, everybody, every artist in the world, the old ones too, Beatles, Elvis Presley, Rolling Stones, they all have a fan base, but I've never heard anybody write a song about or to their fans. And I think it's so cool that BTS wrote a song about ARMY for ARMY. You know, they literally wrote that song about army you know some people will like write songs about loved ones in their lives or friends or experiences that happen to them or themselves the write songs for themselves but nobody seems to write songs about their fan base man another thing that makes bts so special just so so special i think that's so cool so beautiful telepathy uh writers sugar rm john cook very beautiful very beautiful and then this l uh, Capitan guy. I don't know if that's how you say his name. That's how I chose to say it. <laughs> uh, that's cool. He produced it in Hiss Noise. Great producers. Very well done. Very well put together. I liked that one. Fun. Just a fun tune. Very fun song. All right. This is. This is. Disease. Disease. I think this is cool. I already love the title of it. Let's check the, let's check the credits on this too before we roll it. Man, so many writers. We got Suga, RM, Jimin, and J-Hope. Really sick, produced by Brass Tracks. It's crazy that they have different producers on all these songs too. And if you look at some of the more technical credits, like mixing engineers and recording engineers, most artists will have one, two, maybe three of each of these. And like they have so, like look at their mix engineers. They have six of them. Like that is crazy. And then all these assistant mixers, that is not typical. That is, and every song somebody different. Like that is not normal. So you can tell that this is like, um, a pandemic album because they clearly were not all together when they did this and they recorded it from different parts of the world, different cities at different times and just made it all come together. I think this is really cool. Uh, J-Hope song. All right, let's hear it. I'm stoked on this one. Disease. Oh, a lo-fi beat to start. Little guitar. Okay. Oh. Oh, sick. The instrumentation is just amazing in this. Hobie really did wonders on this song. So we got this like simple beat going, and then there's like these. And that like bass like boom. And only comes once in a while. This song just like has so many different points, so many different things to grab your attention. Never mind the main vocal that's going on where your attention naturally is drawn to. If you listen to like the back music, yeah, it definitely, um, Marina, that's so true. An oldie vibe to it. I think that's so cool. It has like this like West Coast kind of hip hop vibe to it. I really like it. Oh, and now that bass I heard go boo comes in and it's boo. Boop, boop, boop. Very sick, very cool. Well, what a way to do it. 
Unreal. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Oh, these lyrics. That is such a sick verse. There's so many cool things. He does more than just rap the words. He uses his voice like almost as another instrument. You know, he like makes all of these really cool sounds with his voice that like make a good rapper so unique. And I think that's so cool. He has such like a unique uh, like tone to his voice. It's almost, it's very nasally and it's kind of in here when he like raps. And I think that just like produces such a beautiful tone for him and so unique, so recognizable. And he uses it to his advantage. He's able to like, let's go back and listen to some of these. He does like those errors, and there was one even before this actually. I don't know what the hell he's saying there, but like it's really sick. It's like I love that so much. Just like the tone in his voice is so unique. That's really cool. I love this from J Ho. And then again. Beautiful. Oh. This is awesome. Oh. This is a good song. And the bass line's really cool. The whole like musical instrumentation behind it, it's like, it has a very falling feeling. You know, it's like, dun, 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 and it just like slowly steps down. It's like, it's such a fun way to do a song. Not very typical at all. Oh. Arm flows so well in this. This song. Oh. This man. Those verses, RM and Sugars, were both fire. So good. And then I love the way it ended. It takes the music and it's like like a record slowing down. And then we hit this chorus again. That is so good. I want to hear those verses again. I really, really enjoyed those. Both RMs and Sugars. I like this one. Talking about how he just works all the time. I'm the work itself. Beautiful. And then also rhyming English words with Korean words. I'm ill, something, something, ill. You know, like that's so cool that they use, he uses an English word and then goes into a Korean word. So sick. Ah. The flow is so good in this. Some ad libs on the side. Love it. And get ready. Oh, this man. He's such a good rapper. And then the music cuts there. It cuts, and you'd expect his vocal to cut too, but he like jumps in ahead of the beat. Ah, oh, that's so good. That is so clean. I love it. And it cuts. Beautiful. Beautiful. So well produced. Oh, Jimin. This part is sick. 
Oh man, this song is good. This is such a groove. Oh cool. Yeah, this is such like a like a West Coast like 80s like rap song, you know, it's got like all like the DJ like scratches in it and stuff. I think it's so cool. Oh! Whoa! What a change in instrumentation. We're going, we're vibing, we're just moving the whole time. And then it cuts and it's like super halftime. Incredible. Wow. Man, this is unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then we're back. Oh, this just goes. Who, who, who's singing this? This one. How do they sing like that? Literally, how do they sing like that? That note is so high. Oh my gosh. I gotta go back after the stream and see if I can scream that at the top of my lungs. I just, I'm not real. That's so high. That is so high. Like, I don't think you guys understand how hard that note is to hit. That is up there. Who is that? Who sings that? I need to know. Like, I, that is so incredible. Uh, I see you guys are saying Jimin and some of you are saying Jin. Oh wait, yeah, is it Jimin or is it Jin? I'd be more inclined to think it's Jimin because of his vocal range, but that is, that is up there. That's Jin? That is Jin? What? Yo, mad respect for Jin. Are you kidding me? That is insane. I didn't know he could do that. I had no clue he could get up there. That is so high. I, I, like, I see all of these gins in the chat, but I almost don't believe you because it's so high. Like, that is stupid high. Oh my gosh. Let's listen to it one more time. This is just so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. Oh, some horns? What the heck, you guys? That is amazing. That song is just amazing. I like that so much. I can't get over that note. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> I can't get over that, you guys. That is so good. That song is so good. That's up there. Okay, I said Fly to My Room was my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Disease is up there too. Like that is, that is pretty good. Uh, ill can be interpreted as sick, hence why disease. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I thought of that. But it also sounded like number one in Korean. Oh. Ill is number one in Korean. So, so June is playing with the words, there is Korean and English. They are sick, but they're also number one. What? What? They are so good. They are so good with their lyrics. That is incredible. That is, thank you for pointing me to that comment. Thank you for dropping that comment. That is so cool. That is one thing that like, okay, it's one thing to write a song in one language and make it like work so well and like be very clever. But now to use one word, one pronunciation of a word that has two totally different meanings in two different languages, especially being that this song is both in Korean and English. That is so impressive. That is so cool. I like that. 
I'm ill. So it's like I'm sick, you know, but I'm number one. <laughs> that is impressive, you guys. That is so impressive. Lyrical genius indeed. That's it. That's unreal. That's so good. Okay, disease is up there. It's up there. Right now it's a toss-up between disease and uh, fly to my room for number ones because those were both absolute bangers. All right, you guys, we got Stay next. Stay is JK's song. Oh yeah, let's check out the credits. Stay, performed by RM, Jin, and Jungkook. Just the three of them. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the other subunit, right. Two subunits, right? There's Suga, V, J-Hope, Jimin, and then there's RM, Jin, and Jungkook. I like that. Writers has all three of them credited on it with Arston as the producer, also co-wrote it. But JK, I'm guessing, is the one who like did most of the work, brought the song to the group. Really cool. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. This instrumentation. Okay, I said this, I think, on track one or track two. How, yeah, it's track two with the organs. How it's so cool, like, I want to know the song within a second of hearing it. You know, as soon as you hear the song being played, you should be like, oh yeah, name that tune. I know what it is. I should know this is Stay. And they do that. This is so unique. I've never heard these instruments before. I can't even pick out what they are. I think this is so cool, so incredible. Like, they're just, they're so good at not only lyrics, not only singing, rapping, dancing, but also writing and producing. And like, they really just think this, this stuff through. This is cool. Like, you know the song already, if you've heard it before. It's like a marimba or something. Oh, beautiful. Is this another song about playing live shows? I had a dream I saw you again. An empty room when I opened my eyes. That sounds like playing a show. Oh. Beautiful gin. Oh! Oh! This moves. I was not expecting this vibe from the song. I thought we were gonna stay like slow, kind of halftime like this, and then it just starts grooving. Right? It's so chill. You don't expect this. Oh, with a little bass slide? I love it. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Gets kind of minor here. Huge build. Oh, and then it's just a party. Oh, this is cool. Cool. Oh, this is so cool. I love the vibe of this song. Just like such a dance tune. <laughs> jump, jump, jump is literally what this song is. This is so cool. I love this. I was not expecting this kind of vibe from them on this record at all. None of the songs really have this like, almost like an electronic feel to it. This one goes. Sick. Oh, this is so fun. Oh. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. So cool. 
okay, yeah, this, this definitely has to be about army, right? About like playing shows and being back in front of people. They know that no matter what happens, no matter what goes on, that you will always stay, you know, army and BTS will always be connected. That's what I get from this. Oh man, what a dancey tune. Man, this this album has taken us places. It took us to the deepest, darkest places you can imagine, and now we're just partying. I like it. It's so good. Oh. Jin had a beautiful shimmer on his voice there. You don't hear this. I haven't heard this from him a ton. It's like, it's very similar to this, like the tone that Jimin has in, in his voice. It's very like saturated, very almost like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's got like just a beautiful, beautiful tone to it. Yeah, and always, sick. Cool. Oh. Beautiful. What a beautiful way to suck it down. The like little bit of a bass drop into this like cool instrumentation. The instruments are so weird on this. I don't even know what they all are. Oh, beautiful little piano part. Whoa, what a tune. That's a good tune. I like that. That's really fun. That is just such like a dancey bop. Techno vibes, absolutely. These subunits are so perfectly built. I don't know if they just kind of ended up this way. Knowing BTS, there's probably some thought putting in, put into it. But like the groups are just so beautiful. They do it so well. Okay, Dynamite, guys. Here we go. Track eight, the final track. Let's read some album credits here. Gotta know the credits. BTS is not even a writer on the song. Nobody from BTS. Interesting. Very interesting. They were just given an absolute bop of a, a song. And they're like, this is good. This song is gonna get you to number one. <laughs> Dynamite, the final song. And then I'll give my full album review of all the songs, what I think of BTS B. By the way, I've heard this song before. I reacted to it already on YouTube, but it was like six months ago. And I've heard the song since. Dynamite. Again, another BTS song that starts off. The first, as soon as you hear it, obviously it starts with the vocal, but like you hear this and you're like, oh, it's Dynamite. You know right away, right off the bat. British songwriters. Fun. Love the Rolling Stone reference. LeBron, cool. Ah, uh, game of ping pong. No way. I never caught this lyric before. Okay, I'm watching BTS in the soup over on my Patreon. And they play so much ping pong. I swear, all these guys do the whole time they were in the soup is play ping pong. It's so funny. And they're like, they're good at it and they go hard. So competitive. Jimin and RM playing like up to like 70 or 100. Just so crazy. <laughs> I love how it builds slowly too. Oh, what a dancey song. Also love this, how they start with the, the chorus. So you get a little taste of it and then you know, and then they drop the chorus here. We're not even a minute into the song. We're already into the chorus and it's our second time hearing it. We already know the words to the song now. I love it. Nice. I really like the keys in this too. Beautiful key tone, a little bit of guitar picking, not a whole lot. Very drum heavy, very much driven by the drums, which I think is so cool. But yeah, I like the, the organ, the key sound in here. It's really cool. Very unique. Oh. 
And that bass line I never caught before too. There's a little bass fill in here. So sick. One more time. Right after this line. Ah, oh, so nice. And then that little run. Even the way that Suga sings, he just has like so much like energy and emotion in his voice. You can tell he's a rapper. You know, one thing about a vocalist is they're singing all the time. But when Suga sings, he will like break into like rapping kind of speaking bits. Let's listen to that line one more time. I think it's I think it's so cool. It's one thing that like makes his voice so unique. Everybody has like a, such a uniqueness in their voice in their own way. And I really like the way that Suga sings and then throws in those like rap elements. You know, he's like, yeah, this beat. Yeah, he goes low, yeah, this, and then really high, and then B. One more time, one more time. It's so good. So good. That's cool. Jimin, and then I think that's RM singing underneath him. I never noticed that before either. Just a great way to fill out Jimin's voice. He sings very high, very beautiful, great tone, so unique, but his voice is very, uh, very like thin and shrill because of it, because he does sing so, light, so high. So it's nice to have like, that's why I love Jimin and V singing together. It's nice to have something like underneath filling it out. Might be J-Hope too, I don't know. Unreal. Nice. Nanas. You can never go wrong with nanas in a song. You can tell this is like written by like, I saw in there someone said that these guys write for Jonas Brothers. It's like, if you put nanas in a song, it's gonna be a hit. Nice. I like the way that this the, this whole line, shining through the city with a little funk and soul, so I'm gonna light it up like dynamite. So it starts low, shining through the, and he gets all the way up, and then light it up, light, and then he comes all the way back down in steps. So it's like quick building up, and then steps all the way down. Or high. So cool. Oh, and that way that Jimin sings that, the way like he gets that dynamite, the, the crack on the D is so good. The na na na's before that too, the da na na na, and you get the harmonies, da na na na, da na na na, and then it switches from Jump Cook over to Jimin. So good. But this. Ah, uh, that dynamite is so dynamite. <laughs> I also love the way that Jimin says tonight here in the stars tonight. It's just like, it's very, you can tell English isn't his first language, which like probably he sings, they all sing this song so well, but it's very clearly not from an English singer. I think it's so cute. Stars tonight. <laughs> that guitar build. Uh, and that is such a way to do a key change. Like, key changes are always so tough. You're literally, like, shifting where the whole song is, and they bring it up here. And they do it with, like, this nice little build. Drums come in, dicka, dicka, dicka. And then you get this belting of a note, which is just such a perfect way to do it. Unreal. And Jin sings that line so well. And I think that's so cool how he like sings the off word on the off beats. Light, light it, it up, up like a dynamite. It makes more sense if you with another person, but like that's just so good. Just a cool like ad lib to do. Ah, oh, so good. 
Again, another thing, another theme within all the songs. Last chorus, they're like, okay, you've heard it already three times. What can we do to make it different? What can we do to make it bigger? What can we do to pull you in and really grab your attention for it? And they just throw in vocal layers. It's so cool. So many artists will use like different instrumentation. They'll change it up. They'll change like the beat, you know, but BTS is like, what are we good at? We're good at singing on top of a lot of other things, don't get me wrong, but I love the way that they build with the vocals. Like all this, unreal. Oh, that run, I never heard that too. Oh, great. Wow, dang you guys, that is so good. Dynamite, fire. Uh, really quickly, just want to mention, if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You don't want to miss out on any more reaction videos that I'm posting. I have some fun things planned over the Christmas holidays here, so uh, some fun videos to come. But Dynamite, I mean, what a great song. Literally, I, I, it's just it's so well written, it's so well produced, it's so well put together. I see how this reached number one on Billboard. It makes sense. Like, it just, it's so fire. It's so good. But dang, you guys, B from BTS, this album right here, unreal. I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it was about. Obviously, it came out 2020. This is a pandemic record for the group, and it's just so good. I really like the way from the top of the, the record. What's the very first opening line? I don't remember. Uh, one day the world stops without any warning. Like that is just beautiful. That is so beautiful. It like I guess it's not beautiful, actually. That's a bad word. It's so well put, and I think it really gives a great idea of what you're going to get with the rest of the record right away. You're like, oh yeah, this is a pandemic record. We understand. The first song is like, yeah, man, you know, like things suck, but life goes on. You know, things happen, but at the end of the day, we're going to all be able to come together and get through this. And I think that's so cool. Uh, and then same thing, Fly to My Room. It gets a little bit darker, you know, a little bit more depressing. Um, and then, man, we're hit with blue-gray, and it's like, yo, okay, here's what's going on. I love the placement of it. You know, track three of eight, I think, is such a beautiful spot. Um, and it just, like, it really showcases, like, the raw emotion of BTS and what they're able to bring to the table, how they're literally able to strip off their skin and, like, just show what's underneath their true raw emotion. And then from there, we pick up the pace again, you know? Um, we, we get some songs for ARMY, some songs like about performing and about how we're all together. And I think that's really what this record is all about. Uh, lyrically, it's just, it's so much focused towards how we're going to be able to get through all of this together, how it sucks, how everybody can relate to how this sucks, no matter how, like, no matter where you are in the world, no matter where you come from, you know, like we're all going through this together. And I think that's one beautiful thing that they bring to this record. Uh, it's just, it's really cool. Musically, it's so good. It's so well produced. All the songs are just top notch. Like there's there's no two songs that sound similar. They do a lot of similar things, um, starting with like the kind of like uh, smaller little bits in the intro and then it builds and then we get into a verse. And then, like I said, with the choruses, how the last choruses, they bring in all of this cool like vocal stuff to build it. Um, Dynamite is the off one on the record, but seeing as they didn't write it, I think that's totally fair. So really, and if you take out the skit, this gets really cool too. I think that's so sick hearing just about like going number one on Billboard. Like that is so sick. Dynamite doesn't really fit the taste of the album for me. It's really cool. Great song. Don't get me wrong. It deserves every award that it's ever won. I love the song. I think it's so good. I think it's, it's actually one of my favorite BTS songs. Like it's so amazing, but it doesn't fit this album. And I, clearly if they didn't write it as part of like with the other songs, I think that it makes sense. What do you guys think about this record? I want to know. So if you want to help further support me and my YouTube channel, um, Patreon is a great way to do it. So uh, I appreciate all you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. We'll do it again very soon. I purple all of you so, so much. Have a good night. Peace. Thanks for hanging.